Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of June the 8th through to the 13th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the Three of Swords reversed, <laughs> followed then by Major Arcana, the Hanged Man reversed. Next, we have Major Arcana Chariot in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Swords upright, and lastly, Major Arcana Emperor. You have three Major Arcana here. Could be a little bit of an intense week for you, Sag. Your overall energy is that of the Three of Swords in the reverse position. Well, it looks like there's some healing going on here for Sagittarius this week. But it could put you in a position of needing to make a decision because the Three of Swords in Reverse can point to the Two of Swords in the Upright, which is a card of needing to make a decision. Now, this is, I think, quite normal after we've had a breakup, perhaps. Uh, and it could be with anybody. It could be a breakup with your friend. It could be a dis sorrow, sadness, disappointment that come from anywhere. A family member, a friend, a co-worker, or a love relationship when it's in the upright, but when it's reversed, this is where we'll find the healing from that. So if there were some bad words, perhaps that uh, was exchanged between you and a good friend or family member or loved one in general, it could be that there's some healing here. This can indicate maybe people apologizing to each other finally, or just getting over the initial hurt in the situation, but then it puts us to the decision making. It's like, well, okay, I'm not feeling so, you know, hurt over the situation anymore, but what do I do now? Like, do I still continue to talk to this person? Do I let it go and just move on and, you know, move away? So that decision will most likely be looming for you in some way in the area where you had some type of sorrow, last loss, sadness. If it was a loss, uh, sometimes like a loss of a pet, say, for example, it could be that, you know, that decision could be like, I lost my favorite dog to, I had to put him down because he was old or he was sick. And now do I get another dog? It could be something like that. But it's going to be different for all of you. Remember, these are just general reads, so take what applies. Coming right at the beginning of the week, we do see the hangman here in the reverse position. I know it's always hard to tell with this card because he is hanging upside down. But uh, this one is reversed, which is good. It's good news about no longer having to wait. The, the hangman in the upright position is where we're sort of suspended in time because we're waiting, waiting on a new perspective. We're waiting to see what other people are going to do. We're just held up because of the timing isn't right. When the card is reversed, this is where we're released back into action. Now we can take action. Maybe for some of you, you are held up because of this three of swords situation. You could have been held up because you were still very hurt from, you know, the breakup, the loss, the sadness, or what have you. But now you're returning to action because the healing has begun for you. So you're returning to action. You're feeling better. You're moving towards something. Maybe have a new perspective on things. And what are you moving towards? You're moving towards the beautiful chariot in the upright position. High, high confidence. Look at the solar plexus activation. This is about moving towards a goal that we know that it's almost like guaranteed success is there. We know it's there. So we're moving towards it. This is cancer energy. Some of you could be involved with the cancer or you could just be uh, planning a, a trip. This can sometimes indicate um, planning a trip. It could be a road trip or it could be that you're thinking about purchasing a new vehicle or there could be something going on where you need to move very quickly towards something. In terms of, say, for example, um, you just interviewed for a job and you have to go for the second interview and it has to happen very quickly. This is you going already knowing that you got the job, but it could be a formality where you have to show up kind of thing. Or you could just be needing to travel to, you know, to obtain your goal or your success. 
Moving on towards the weekend, we do have the Queen of Swords here in the upright position. While it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, the Queen of Swords could be you, you know, very well speaking up, just speaking your truth. That's what she does. She She's very blunt in the way that she communicates. Could be that you're dealing with somebody who's like that. Not necessarily an air sign, although they could be. Um, um, this is somebody who just communicates very bluntly. This, like I said, could be you. Maybe there's somebody you need to talk to. Uh, maybe there's, you know, whoever was involved in this Three of Swords. It could be for some of you. Maybe you're going to have a conversation and just sort of lay it on the line with this person. Or it could be the other person is doing that with you right? Because energies can go either way. This could be somebody who you're dealing with who's just very straightforward. It could be in business. It could be in health. It could be, you know, like she could be a surgeon. She could be someone, um, a lawyer or somebody in the legal profession as well. So that could be something you are dealing with. Maybe some of you are you know, having to travel for, to speak with a, a surgeon or you have to travel to speak with a legal person. That could be the case for some of you. And the last card you have is the Emperor in the upright position. Well, the Emperor is the, the man or woman in charge of everything. This is can be like the head of a household. It can be the CEO of, um, of a company. It can be a very powerful person, perhaps, who's there to aid you or help you in some way. This person could be helping you land a job, could be helping you with your legal situation or something like that. Or it could be you needing to t take control over a situation. This is Mars ruled energy. You could be involved somehow with an Aries or a Scorpio also ruled by Mars. So it could be one of those uh, signs perhaps is sort of stepping in, taking control of a situation, or it could be you yourself, Sagittarius, is uh, being very controlling in the area because maybe you have to, maybe you've set the record straight with something and you have to make sure everything stays on track and is, uh, is controlled. It was like I was saying, I think it was, I can't remember who it was, Leo or somebody. Yeah, I think it was Leo about the emperor and how we all can uh, be control freaks. Sometimes it's necessary. So perhaps that's what is going on with you at the end of the week. Maybe you need to have this level of control for some reason. So that is your reading, uh, Sagittarius. I really hope it helped you. If it does, if it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.